So in this section, we are going to talk about the environment and create a Python environment. Uh, what is the environment? Actually, environment is very easy. Uh, it is just uh, imagine that we are going to work with different version of Python, with different types of uh, libraries, which each libraries can have different versions. Uh, in this case, for example, for one project, we prefer to use Python 3.1. For the other project, we prefer to use Python 3.6. And for another project, we prefer to use Python 2.7, for example. And in one of them, we are going to uh, use this environment for data science purposes. So we use pandas, numpy, matplotlib. But for example, for the other one, uh, we are using this environment for, for example, medical engineering purposes. And we are using some uh, specific libraries for this uh, med medical uh, engineering purpose. So, for different tasks in different fields, we are using different environments, which contains uh, different Python versions and different uh, libraries. This is the whole concept behind the environment, and we are going to use Anaconda or Miniconda, you can use both of them, but in this case, we are going to use Anaconda to create Python environment and start programming uh, in your environment. Along with these libraries and the Python itself, we will add uh, some IDEs, for example, Jupyter Notebook, or you can use, for example, PyCharm or uh, Spider, or even you can use Microsoft Visual, Microsoft Visual Studio with its extensions uh, to as an IDE to program your Python. So I close this PowerPoint and here we continue to install Anaconda. So now how we should make our Python environment? To do so, first of all, you should Google Anaconda uh, and then when you Google it, you will see the Anaconda websites. Click on it, go inside the Anaconda website and try search to find out uh, the download link because it's free but it depends on when you are using it and you are searching for it because they have changed their website configuration a lot but uh, there is always a free download go to the free download and try to download it for windows uh, or if you are using mac or linux you can t download it for your operating system it doesn't matter and install uh, your anaconda and after you download it and install it, now we want to make our environment by using the Anaconda prompt. Uh, I open a new folder here in my desktop and I call it Python. And I want to put my environment, including all my project in this folder. So I will have everything here in this folder and they are all centralized. So after you install Anaconda, you can search for Anaconda prompt. And here is your Anaconda prompt. Uh, it's very important to notice that the first, it has uh, two parentheses. In this parentheses, it's written base. And then it is C and user Laylipur, this is the directory of my current computer. This is the directory that I am working. What we have in the parentheses is actually uh, the environment that is now active. What is the environment? A Python with some libraries, we call it an environment. A Python uh, interpreter with some libraries. But when you install Anaconda, it automatically install uh, its environment and it will be the base environment. Our base environment will be the Anaconda environment. So now I want to change my directory to, for example, he, this this is the directory that I want I want to work on it. I copy it and here I just write cd change directory and paste the directory that I want to work on it. C user Ladypool desktop Python. Uh, I can if I press enter, I will be now here in this folder. In this folder, I want to install my environment. How we are going to do that? Because I changed my directory to this directory, 
when I install or create my environment, it will be automatically uh, saved here and it will be installed here in this directory, which is this folder. Uh, now, in this folder here, I want to have two subfolders, uh, one of them named uh, Python environment and the other named is project. And we want to have all projects, all our projects that we are going to work on uh, on them here. I can just right click and press new folder and rename it. But in this case, I want to do it from Anaconda prompt. And when I am in this directory, the directory that uh, we can see here, I can just say mkdir, which stands for make directory, and we name it Python uh, environment, like that, environment. This is, if I press enter, now I can see that a folder will be appeared here. This is Python, Python uh, in our Python environment folder. I change directory by cd change directory to Python environment. If I press enter, now my directory is inside this folder. It's here. So now I want to create, I want to create an environment inside this Python environment folder. To do so, we use Anaconda uh, by a command named Conda. We just simply write this one. It may seem a little complicated, but it's not. It's just a command. It's not. It's just a command from Anaconda to create environment. We say Conda uh, create create pre dash dash pre uh, prefix dot backslash env for standing for uh, environment. Then I wanna install my libraries. The libraries that we are going to work with a lot are numpy space pandas space uh, matplotlib lib scikit-learn and Jupyter Notebook to write the code uh, it, we just we say jp I press enter and it should start to install all of these uh, libraries with the Jupyter notebook I press enter it starts installing them oh we had an error uh, okay I spell it wrong Jupy, uh, I sh it should be Jupyter uh, sorry for uh, that mistake and I change it to Jupyter and I press enter. So I press Y and press enter. Then it continue to install it. So now uh, the environment is installed. It may take a little time, but after it is finished, now you will have an environment folder here in Python environment. This is our environment. Uh, I go back. Uh, I go back. To, I want to go back to the Python folder. One step back uh, in my directory, I say cd double dot enter. Now I am in a Python, not in a Python environment. Here, uh, this is our environment. I want to make another folder for our project, and I do it with mkdir, and the name is Python projects. Uh, I press enter and I want to go to this directory with cd python project. Now I am in this folder, python project. Here I want to open one Jupyter notebook, but first of all, we need to activate this environment that we have here. This is our environment. We can just go inside and and uh, uh, copy this path, but we have another way to do that. We can say uh, conda env list. It should uh, return all the environment list that we have on this PC, on this computer. Uh, we can see that we have three environment. The first one, which is the base one, and we can see here in this parentheses, this is base, is located here. See user lady for Anaconda 3. This is the second one, 
And this is the third one that we installed right now. C user, uh, your uh, computer name, desktop, Python, Python environment, and ENV. It's exactly here. This is our uh, environment list. We can copy it from here. I copied it. Uh, we could just right click and copy as path from here too. Then I say conda activate this environment that we created. Now it is activated. How we know that? Because before that in this parenthesis it was written base. It means this address, the, ana the anaconda, the environment that was installed when we install Anaconda. Uh, but now it is changed to this environment and it has all the uh, libraries that we want it to be installed. Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Scikit-Learn, and Jupyter Notebook itself. Now I just write, down, write Jupyter Notebook and our programming environment will be opened. So, it automatically opened from here. Now, where are we? Why I don't see anything? Actually, we are at the moment in this directory, Python project. We are in the Python project folder. Uh, I want to open a Jupyter notebook, click on new notebook, and it, we want it to be Python 3 IP kernel selected. I change the name. I want it to be Python ASIC. I rename it and our Python is already here. We can test it together. I just for test I want to see check whether we have our uh, Python uh, libraries or not. Import for example, NumPy as NP and import pandas as PD, shift enter, uh, import shift enter. We don't have any error. It means this library is NumPy pandas are already installed. Now that I created this uh, Jupyter notebook, if I go back in our Python folder in a Python project, we can see that we have Python basic that IPYNB. This is for I Python notebook. We can see that it is created here and we can continue our programming here. And uh, in the setting, there is a TAM and here you can change between Jupyter light and Jupyter dark. If I press dark, it would be in the dark mode. Uh, some of the viewer in the comment sections ask me to use the uh, dark mode so it would be more obvious and it seems with the dark mode the quality of the video is higher so I change it to the dark mode. If you want to be in the light mode you can just st uh, stick with this light mode and do not change it but we record the video in the dark mode.